here. Long time no see. Kevin in Japan. You know, like, I'm making a video tonight because there's been a lot of stuff in the news. Not a lot of stuff, but some things popping up in the news recently about animal rights activists who are very upset with Japan's owl cafes. And if you're not sure what an owl cafe is, I've had people ask me to go and make videos about owl cafes, but I'm going to admit I refuse to because I really hate them and I hate the idea of an owl cafe. It's essentially a place where you can go, a cat like a cafe, or they have they have lots of, of owls in a cafe, like literally owls, like the wild birds that are, you know, uh, with like leg holds on, strapped, you know, tied down, and they kind of sit there and you can touch them and interact with them while you enjoy a cafe. Um, I know a lot of YouTubers over the years have made videos about them and how cute they are, how kawaii they are, and that just, I, I gotta admit, it makes me absolutely sick. <laughs> um, I've got no problem with people having domesticated pets. I grew up with pets. Dogs, cats, guinea pigs, hamsters, all of that stuff. People have birds, domesticated birds, great, but domesticated, domesticated, that's what I'm talking about. Now, unfortunately in Japan, the laws aren't quite the same as they are in places like America or Canada or the UK with regards to the type of pets you can have and the types of pets that can be sold. So unfortunately here in Japan, you can buy wild birds. You can go to a pet shop and buy an owl, a barn owl, a screech owl. You can go and buy uh, pygmy owls. You can go and buy different owls. You can go and buy hawks. You can buy uh, falcons. I mean, I was in a pet shop a few weeks ago where you could buy a, a peregrine falcon, a Hayabusa, the world's fastest animal. An animal that is a wild animal. Um, now, if you're into falcon, falconry and you are an enthusiast of falconry and you're someone who understands and knows about, say, hawks or falcons and things like this and you keep them in the appropriate environment and you allow them to hunt and this and that. Okay, there's one thing, but owls. Number one, they're wild. Number two, they're nocturnal. They're nocturnal, that means they're awake at night. They sleep during the day. That's right, the vast majority of owls are completely nocturnal. They hunt at night. So putting them in lit rooms with people during the day where they're awake all day, it really messes up sleep patterns and whatnot, and that, that can't be good for them. Also, owls have incredible eyesight that is very sensitive to light because they're nocturnal, they're night hunters. Their eyes are designed to be in low light, you know? So like in a brightly lit room, again, that can't be good. Also, owls use hearing, they have incredible senses of hearing to hunt. Like, you know, if, if you have, you know, owls that live in, in countries like Canada or Sweden, uh, you know, snowy, cold countries, an owl can perch in a tree, five meters up in a tree, and they can hear um, their prey. So often, you know, a lot of different types of owls hunt rodents, small rodents, things like uh, voles, mice, things like that. So a lot in the, in the wintertime when there's a lot of snow cover, these small rodents live underneath the snow cover and they have like tunnel networks and they, they basically move around through these vast elaborate tunnel networks underneath the snow. Well, a lot of different snow, a lot of different owls, like snowy owls even, and so many types of owls, they, they sit in the trees, they perch in trees, and they can hear the different rodents running around underneath the snow. And they hear that and they, they dive down off the trees and land in the snow and boom, they grab those rodents that are underneath the snow layer and eat them up and that's their meal. And that's the way they're designed. They're designed in a, such an incredibly efficient way. And I love, owls are incredible birds of prey. I love owls, they're so freaking cool. You get an animal that, is, that has such an acute sense of hearing and is that sensitive to hearing and you put them like in an environment by the way, a weasel just ran past right over here, right across the road. I saw a weasel, uh, too big to be a rat, a weasel. And I would like that one for dinner. Um, and there's a lot of wild owls that live in the Mount Rocco range over this way in the forest. 
here in Kobe, Japan. But yeah, so uh, take an animal like that with such an acute sense of hearing and put them in a loud cafe with people talking and taking pictures and music playing and this and that, and that can't be good for them. So at the end of the day, um, ever since I've come to Japan, it's always really upset me to, because if you guys know me, I'm, I'm, I'm into animal conservation, especially, uh, you know, birds. You know, I've got the, the Birds of Kansai Facebook page where I showcase my nature photography and photography with other people. I post information about birds and birding. Um, you know, I spend a lot of my free time doing that. I spend, <clears throat> as an educator, uh, um, so, I mean, I'm not an English teacher, guys. I'm a homeroom teacher, elementary school teacher, and I spend... I spent years teaching young children about animal conservation, about endangered animals, animals, you know, how, how, what they can do to take action to help, da 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 da. And it, it, so, like, I'm really passionate about this, and, and it upsets me. So that's again why I've never been into an owl cafe, and I never want to go into an owl cafe. Um, and that's why I'm making this video, because I'm glad that finally, you know, some Western news outlets are catching on to this, because I don't like it. I don't like this. They're not cute. They're not kawaii. Um, yeah. So, I don't know. I just wanted to make this video, because I was just reading some stuff for the past few nights, and it was making me angry. All right, guys. I'm going to a convenience store right now. There's a Lawson. I'm going to go and buy some chips. All right. Take care. Kevin in Japan. Just... Um, I'm gonna put a link below to this, some, to some of the stories about the the owl cafe stuff. Um, and you know, yeah, uh, uh, angry.